In this tutorial, we are going to bulk translate WooCommerce products, using WooCommerce Multilingual by WPML and WP Sheet Editor WooCommerce products. This method of massive product translation will allow you to save a lot of time. You will not have to create translations one by one, but you will bulk create translations into different languages for all the products that have not been translated. Besides WooCommerce, WPML, and WooCommerce Multilingual, you need to have WP Sheet Editor installed and active on your website. This plugin allows you to edit products in bulk, using an intuitive spreadsheet within WordPress. In this case, it will help us to create translations into several languages for hundreds of products at once. Then it will allow us to edit the translations easily from the spreadsheet, which will save us a lot of time. You can purchase the plugin and read our always up-to-date written guide to this tutorial by following the links in the description of this video. Something important to notice is that WP Sheet Editor displays products depending on the WPML language selected. If we select English, which is our main language, the spreadsheet will display the English products only. If we change the language into Spanish, we'll see all the Spanish translations we've made so far. We created these translations using the normal translation method. The same happens if we switch to Italian. You can see we've added some translations in that language too. To create translations into Spanish and Italian, we'll switch the language back to our main language, which is English. If you have already translated some products as in our case, WP Sheet Editor allows you to filter and edit the products missing translations in specific languages only. This means you can exclude all the already translated products from this process. Just open the search tool. Now enable the advanced filters. And select the languages in this field. In this case, we'll search for all the products that haven't been translated into Spanish and Italian. Finally click on Run Search. As you see, the spreadsheet displays all the products that are missing translations in Italian and Spanish. Now we can go on to create the translations for all these products. Now it's time to create product translations in bulk for several languages. But before, it's important to mention that WP Sheet Editor is not an automatic translation method. This means that product titles, descriptions and other fields will not be translated into other languages. However, we don't want to leave aside the multiple advantages of using WP Sheet Editor to manage your multilanguage content. You can create translations in bulk, edit translations using the spreadsheet, export translations in a specific language to send to your translator in CSV format, and then import all translations of a specific language using the CSV sent to you by your translator. WP Sheet Editor boosts your productivity and can help you save lots of hours of work. To create the translations in bulk, you have at least two ways. First, you can do it with the spreadsheet. Go to the WPML duplicate column. Once here, enter the language codes for the languages into which you want to translate your products. In this case, we'll enter ES for Spanish and IT for Italian, separating them with commas. Once you're done, click on Save to apply the changes. That way is great, but we have a better option, especially if you want to create translations for hundreds of products. Open the Bulk Edit tool. We'll edit all the results from our current search. The field to edit is WPML Duplicate. Select Set Value here. And in this field, we need to add the code of each language into which we want to translate our products. In this case, we'll enter ES for Spanish and IT for Italian, separating them with commas. Finally, click on Execute. After bulk creating the product translations, you'll see no products in the main language spreadsheet. This happens because no product matches the search filter we have applied. Of course, this only happens if you've translated all the products into the languages selected in the search filters. If we switch into a secondary language, we'll see that the translations have been created successfully. For example, here are our Italian translations. 
we can see the product's language, and the products to which the translations belong. And here are our Spanish translations, which we will use for the next sections as an example. Again, we can see the product's language, and the products to which the translations belong. By default, all the translations we create will have the duplicate from the main language translation relationship. This means that all the changes we apply in the main language will be applied to the translation as well. Since we don't want that, we need to change the translation relationship into translate separately. We have at least two ways to do this. First, we can go to the WPML relationship column and select translate separately. Once we're done editing all the product translations we want to edit, let's click on save to apply the changes. That's great, but we can also do it using the bulk edit tool. We'll edit all the products. The field to edit is WPML relationship. Select set value here. And here, select translate separately. Finally, click on execute now. And as you see here, all the product translations in Spanish have been edited. Now that we have edited the translation relationship, we're ready to start editing the product translations with WP Sheet Editor. For example, we can translate product titles in this column. Also, we can open the short description text editor as a pop-up. Besides, we can edit the SEO of our product translations, since WP Sheet Editor is compatible with all popular SEO plugins like Yoast SEO, All-in-One SEO, Rank Math SEO, etc. An important question is, what happens with the product categories, tags, and product attributes? When you translate WooCommerce products in bulk, WP Sheet Editor automatically creates the translations for your product taxonomies like categories, tags, and attributes. You can save a lot of time if you edit the taxonomy translations using the WP Sheet Editor Taxonomy Terms plugin. As you see, you can save a lot of time when creating and managing WooCommerce multilingual translations with WP Sheet Editor. Remember that you can purchase the plugin and read our written guide to this tutorial by following the links in the description of this video. You can also visit wpsheeteditor.com to get live chat assistance for free. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our tutorials.